Seeks, obviously, let's just start with how you're feeling, obviously, being able to get back in a game. Did it feel okay to you out there? Yeah, I would say a little rusty at the beginning, but uh, after that, it was fine. Um, you know, it's just hockey. Uh, you know, I can practice as much as I can, but you never feel the same than a, than a game. And, uh, you know, I was kind of prepared for that, so, um, but yeah, it was, it was good. How disappointing was it to see what happened with all the goodwill that you guys had built throughout that game, that third period collapse there? Yeah, yeah, um, I mean, it's tough to see. Um, you know, we played good hockey uh, sec- uh, first and second. And third, after that uh, PK goal, uh, we we kind of, I don't know, got scared and stopped playing hockey. Uh, didn't make the plays. And, uh, yeah, they responded and uh, they had the better outcome. When you say when you say scared, what does that mean? Like, what does that look like in your game? Not you personally, yeah, but everyone. I mean, yes, uh, not making the right plays or... You know, just throw the puck away, and uh, yeah, I think we just gotta, you know, in the future we gotta, gotta stick with it, uh, even if it's a tight game. Um, I think we gotta learn that. Do you think that comes from just the experience of this year that these things keep happening? That you sort of that scaredness develops at that point? Yeah, I mean, we, we've been in that situation uh, quite a bit this year, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, at some point, uh, you know, we gotta learn from it, and. Uh, yeah, today we didn't uh, do the right the right thing, and uh, as I said, they had the better outcome. What, what, what was being said on the on the bench? I mean, can you take us from like in the third period when, when it's you know you're in complete control of that game, and then it's slipping away like that. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think I mean, we a just guy talking, a guys. Yeah, I mean, we we talk about playing the same way. Uh, you know, get puck, puck deep. Uh, you know, they had the back to back, and. Uh, we knew they were uh, a little tired, um, so we, we tried to wear them out. And uh, but yeah, as uh, as uh, we stopped playing after that, after their second goal, and uh, yeah. That's frustrating that you guys are this deep in the season, and, and like you kind of said, that you guys are scared at, at certain points of the game. Like, yeah, I mean, well, losing is always frustrating. So um, I don't think anybody likes to lose. So uh, yeah, it's not it's not fun. How do you explain? That third period. Well, I just think we stopped making plays in the third. Um, I thought we kind of almost looked like we we're scared after um, they scored. Um, uh, yeah, just, that's not how you win. Um, you know, we're playing on our heels, and then uh, you know they're obviously going to make a push in the third, and uh, yeah, we didn't handle it well. How frustrating! Cause you were in complete control of this game. Yeah, it's frustrating, 100%. Um, thought we played. It good game for 40 minutes and then you know just the last period we pretty much gave it away um it sucks but we got a game tomorrow so you gotta just learn from this right away um but you know definitely stings you think the penalties uh, you know they, they were able to get their confidence going once they got that goal there <coughs> um yes but also um you know i thought like you said for 40 minutes we had the game under control and then uh they made a push and yeah, we just didn't handle it well. Like I said, we didn't. We stopped, you know, wanting pucks, and we just kind of played scared and make any plays. And, we, and then we gave them a chance to come back. Timo, can you elaborate what you mean when you say played scared at that point when they scored that first there? <clears throat> well, we just, you know, I think when we're when we're at our best, um, everybody wants the puck and everybody wants to go out there and, uh, and make plays. Uh, if there's player plays there, and uh, I thought we just kind of, you know, weren't, you know, ready. Everybody uh, it didn't look like everybody wanted to puck. It's kind of like that, but yeah, I mean it's 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 tough. But there's a game tomorrow we gotta prepare, prepare for and uh, ensure reaction tomorrow. Where does that have to come from, though, right? Like if you say that it, you know, guys didn't want the puck, like sort of didn't feel that. Like where does it have to come from to avoid some a collapse like that? <clears throat> yeah, I mean that's gonna be we gotta figure that out real quick. Um, I think I think it's just uh, yeah we gotta learn from it right away. Um, you can't this time of the year, you know, there's little games left and, and, and teams it's it's tight and teams are going to make push so especially when you're you know up um, 3-1 uh, in the third uh, obviously they're going to you know take chances and uh, you know we've, we've showed before that we can you know handle that um, you know the last two games didn't do a good job and uh, that's uh, yeah it's obviously too bad but you know we can't feel sorry for ourselves we got to go get ready for tomorrow and show uh, show a big re- reaction David did it feel like at all maybe any potential momentum to get back um, no, I don't think so. Um, we had a chance to go on a power play there. 
um, you know, we obviously want to capitalize there, and, and, and you know, sometimes on the on the power play, you might not score, but you can gain momentum back, and we didn't do a good enough job there on the power play to get the momentum back on our side, and yeah, that's kind of how, how we lost there in the, in, in the, in the third period. As kept saying, you keep using the word scared. Are you playing scared? How, how, how does that happen for, for guys that were controlling the game and, and dominating the game? Yeah, that's that's hard to say. Um, against the NHL, their team's got skill. You know, they're they're not going to roll over easy. They're going to try and make it hard on us. And like, you know, I think their will to win was just that we talked about that. And, you know, we pride ourselves in that process, which ultimately leads to the end result and picking up wins. Um, and tonight's a good lesson that you can't just do it for two thirds of the game. Um, yeah, you know, they're going to push. They're down, but you know, let them take mistakes. Dig in, defend well. Uh, you know, we got to be strong around our net. So again, what what happens tonight can't happen. When you talk about, you know, we talk so much this team about we need to learn from our mistakes, but it just feels like it just keeps snowballing. How frustrating is that? That it's so repetitive. Well, it's frustrating, <laughs> and it's going to keep on happening if we don't learn. So again, you think we'd be kind of past that point, but you know, we're not. So you know, to a man in this room, we know what we're capable of when we're on. We've shown it. You know, not consistently enough. I think that's fair to say. But again, it's it's a valuable lesson that you know this is an everyday league. Um, whatever situation you're in, you know, if you're up, if you're down, you gotta kind of read the play. Uh, we got a great group in here. If we can make plays when we're skating, when we're hunting pucks, we're at our best. And uh, like we showed that for two periods. Uh, we get away from it, they get some life, they get some confidence, and you know, confidence is a scary thing. So we just gotta do a better job at kind of taking a breath, resetting, uh, and defending with everything we got. I was gonna say when you talk about taking a breath and resetting, does it sometimes feel that like if there is a goal against, like the deflation is so low that it's hard to. As a coach, yes, no, I mean, that's yeah. just pro sports. That's yeah. why fans love it. And players, you know, <laughs> on a day to day, I mean, it, get, it gets tough. Uh, again, you know, we, we get behind the eight ball, we got to kill some penalties and whatnot. And all of a sudden, you know, the flow gets a little off, but that's no reason to complain or anything. Mm-hmm. It's just adversity within a game. Uh, whenever your name gets called upon to, to go out there for your shift, you got to do whatever you can to put your team in the best spot to win. Um, again, I think at times we, we had more time to make plays uh, and kind of get back to our structure, getting pucks deep, putting more pressure on them. Than allowing them to come at us with speeds and uh, you know having heavy sticks around our net. Three one, and I, I don't know if you take your foot off the gas or what, but it looked like things changed. Like they were now in control of the game. How did it change like that? Yeah, I mean at, at that point they got nothing to lose. They're going to throw you know everything at us. Uh, but you know we got to know that. We we talk about that going into the third period. They'll you know, continue to play the same way that's made it successful for the first forty. You know they get one, they get a little bit of life. Well. What can we do now to kind of you know turn the momentum and the lead changes? You know the I guess the flow of the games and whatnot. It happens so quick, but uh, again, you just got to do it upon yourself. Dig in, and we always talk about that will to win. You know, second and third efforts. So, and it's not just you know putting the puck in the back of the net. It's boxing out a guy. It's getting puck out of your own end, getting it deep past the red line. All those small details they add up at this time of year. Is it disappointing? I mean, you know how hard it is to win on back to back for them to come and show that kind of energy in the third to get that win. Uh, when yeah. they're playing a back-to-back. Exactly. If they played a back-to-back, we had three days off. So, if anything, you know, they could have got off to a better start with their legs or fresher. But I, I thought from the get-go, we kind of picked up and we played well. Uh, again, but that's a good lesson for us. So, hopefully we can do tomorrow what they did just tonight. When your team was so in control of the game, yeah. uh, how do you explain what happened there in this third period? Yeah, well, it's, it's not easy to explain, especially after the first two periods. I thought... Uh, we played almost as perfect as a game as we could have in the first two period. Really didn't give them a lot of life. I think they only had 10 to 12 shots after two periods. And, uh, you know, we gave them a little life. Uh, you give a team, like we talked about it in between second and third, about staying with it, uh, not letting up. And I, I don't think we necessarily let up, but we gave them some life with some power plays. Uh, they strike on the power play, they get a quick goal. And now you're in a game, and I thought... You know, the momentum really shifted then. And uh, I thought we could have got it back on our power play, and we didn't. And uh, and again, then they score again. It, you know, I'm more disappointed with the end of the last two goals than the first two. Uh, not not the empty net goal, but uh, once they made it 3-3, uh, I didn't think we took charge enough, and they did. Uh, and we made some mistakes that, again, like, we made some mistakes you can't make at this time of year, and uh, they cost you. We make a bad change, and we don't perform on a on a detail on a faceoff, and it ends up in the back of your net. And uh, 
you know, it's unfortunate with how well we played in the first two periods. Some of the guys talked about playing scared. I don't know if we're scared, but do you think that the confidence went wavered? Yeah, I, we talked. I talked quickly after the game, and, and one of our guys mentioned that he thought we looked tight after, and I and we did. I, I thought we looked a little tight after uh, they tied it up a little bit. Uh, I, I talked to the team quickly on the bench and said, "I don't. I'm not. I don't. We don't need a timeout. Let's get back to our game." And uh, no, I thought we we played all right until the power play, and then uh, you know then they they struck. Quickly, twice, two, uh, two quick ones again. Travis, one of the things that we've heard a lot this year, and I don't know if you know this is necessarily something answerable in just this short amount of time, but it's the idea of you know we need to learn our lessons. We need, like why aren't those sinking in, and it becomes repetitive, right? Uh, I mean, there's there's always lessons, and a lot of it is just playing solid hockey for 60 minutes and not getting away from it. So, uh, I think at times our game gets way too loose, and we don't bear down in certain areas of the rink. And if you play a loose game and you throw pucks away or you're not hard in front of your net, uh, you know, th- things are going to happen. Bad things are going to happen. And, you know, we have a young team. There's no, no, no secrets about it. Hey, Travis, I mean, in game 75, I'd like to hear that, you know, some of your guys say that, that Playing scared in the yeah, third period. I, mean. I think that can get over mm-hmm. overstated. I don't think they were scared. I think we weren't making plays, mm-hmm. and the other team had some momentum and found their game. Uh, I don't think they were literally scared. Uh, and if they were, I'd be surprised. Uh, to that point, though, I mean, you know, game seventy-five and, yeah. and so few opportunities left. I mean, how frustrating is it to to hear things like that and then see it on the ice? Well, it's frustrating to see how we played, um, especially with how well we were playing. And, uh, you know, that, that's frustrating to hear them. I think the scared part is probably a confident thing more than a scared thing. And, uh, you know, when the other team gets momentum, uh, you're confident in your ability to make a pass or, or can change. And I, I know you shuffled around the lines a little bit, yeah. and it looked like you bench holds a little bit in the second period. I'm just kind of curious your decision behind that. Yeah, he knows why. I don't need to get into it. There, there was a play that I didn't like, and a couple plays, and but then I tried to get him back out there, played him on the power play still. Uh, you know, it looked like Nemitz came back into the game, but is he doing all right after that hit? I haven't talked to the trainers yet, so. And just your your thoughts on the hit. Uh, yeah, I mean it was. They, they called the penalty, so you, know, you don't like to see one of your players go down or get hurt. That's for sure. And was tonight just the difference between you know, like you said, a young team versus a, a veteran group that knows you know how to double down and? and... I'm not going to use that as an excuse that we're young and you know, but we made some mistakes that you can't make at this time of year, and uh, you know, it's unfortunate. It's dis- it's disheartening. I've, obviously, you're mad as a coach and. Uh, you know, but you know your team is upset as well. Thank you, Travis. Okay.